you know, I've always tried to have a positive outlook in life. I always feel like, you know, if you do good by people and work hard, good things will happen to you. And I just never thought anything like this would happen to me. Amal Gums is seen by many as a gentle giant. I was always taught, you know, sticks and stones. So I just never thought it would turn some, it would turn so physical. It was May 22nd when an incident allegedly occurred at a Greeley 7-Eleven that challenged Amal's perspective on life. And it was all caught on video surveillance. I was thirsty, just wanted to, you know, get some drinks. Um, pulled up to the 7-Eleven like I do all the time. I've been in that 7-Eleven a million times. Uh, I get out of my car and I see these three guys standing, you know, outside. And uh, I didn't think anything of it until I heard them, you know, drop some N-bombs. So I walk in the store and they followed me. And I went to the back to where the drinks are at and they followed me back there and still you know, still with the racist stuff. So I turn around to kind of confront them, like, hey man, what's your problem? I turn around, next thing you know, I just kind of see a fist coming at me. It kind of gets hazy, I just remember, you know, defending myself. The physical damage that was done has nearly healed and could have been far worse if not for the athletic build of Amal and the immediate help he received from several employees in the store. The emotional damage, however, cannot be seen by the naked eye. It kind of shook my perspective up, like for, you know, maybe a couple weeks after that, I was, I was pretty paranoid, you know, like looking over my shoulder everywhere I went. The 7-Eleven where the fight occurred is just behind me. Now the three gentlemen that followed them all inside were right around that corner, followed them into the store, and the fight continued outside in the parking lot, only a block away from the University of Northern Colorado's campus. You know, I felt so violated that night that that should never happen to anybody anywhere. And the fact that, you know, it happened a block from a community that I love so much. While some time has passed, Amal now sets his focus on school and football. But what allegedly occurred that night still lingers in the back of his mind. Justice needs to be served. Like, the longer that they're not caught, the more, the more confidence there is being, you know, built inside them that they can go do this again to somebody.